This is video one of how to create digital art using ArtRage 2.5. I hope throughout all these videos, you're going to find out just how much fun it is to make digital art. When you first open ArtRage 2.5, you're presented with this window. At the top, you'll see a menu bar. On the left, you'll see a tool settings panel. Then you'll come down and this will be the tool picker. And you'll notice that it's all painting tools. Here is the toolbox panel. This on the right is the color picker. And this is the layers panel. In the center here, which is white, is your canvas. This is what you're going to paint on. So first, let's talk about the menu bar. Under File, when you want to make a new painting, you would click here. Open Painting means you've already painted something and saved it. You can save a painting. If you already have a painting, you can save painting as and give it a new name. Your recent files, if you've saved a painting, they'll be here. You can export your painting as an image. You can import an image into ArtRage. You can even import an image to the layer. You can print your painting and you can quit. Under Edit, you have Undo, Redo, and they're grayed out because you don't have a painting yet. You can rescale the painting. You can resize the canvas. You can copy layer to clipboard. You can paste a clipboard to new layer. You can clear a layer. You can transform layer contents. You can transform all layers. Now we'll go into this further as we go through different videos, but right now I'm just getting you familiar with what's in ArtRage 2.5. Under Preferences, if there's a check mark by it, it means it's active. Auto check for updates every week. I like to do this. You can play sounds, especially if you goof. You can play panel transitions. You can use a precise cursor, which I do. I could magnify the precise cursor. You can hide the taskbar in full screen mode. And because I have a Whatcom tablet, I use the precise tablet mode. Now, if you go up here to Tools, you'll see that you can select Tools. And these tools are what you actually paint with. As you can see, you have oil paint, pencils, palette knife, airbrush, chalks, glitter gun, paint roller, paint tube, color sampler, felt pens, crayons, and eraser. This is a fantastic program for actually painting as if you were doing it by hand. Notice that each one of these has a number. And if you learn what the numbers are for each thing, It'll be faster when you want to go switch between the painting tools. You can reset the current tool, meaning you can go back to its default. The layer options is add a new layer, delete a layer, clear layer, duplicate a layer, export a layer, transform layer contents, in other words, move them around on your layer, make a stencil from this layer, merge with the layer below, merge all layers, layer blending, close layer group, and edit the paper settings. And like I said, we'll get into all this later. There's the stencil options, the tracing options, the color options. You can open a reference image, remove all reference images, reset the canvas rotation, reset the canvas scale, reset canvas position, and show colors samples panel which is this cute little thing. And we'll go into this later. Under Help, you'll have the Art Rage 2 manual. If you click on it, it comes up and it will have all the help you need. It's pretty good. So I suggest you read it when you have time. Under Help, you can also go to Online Product Support. Shortcut keys. This is again another PDF which shows you all the shortcut keys that ArtRage 2.5 has. 
You could select a language, English, French, or German. And you can also know what version you have by clicking on this. I have ArtRage 2.5. And I love this little statement, close because painting's more fun. Now this will zoom in or zoom out. For instance, if I click the minus, you can see that my canvas has gotten smaller. If I want it back up to full screen, I just click the plus. This is undo, redo. This will put the program down into your taskbar. This will go from full screen to smaller, and this will exit the program. Or these will also. And the next video will be on the tool picker and the tool settings panel.